channel. My name is Claire. If this is your first time here, welcome. So a couple weeks ago, I did a cook with me video and it was so fun to film and I got a lot of great feedback that you guys wanted to see more cooking videos. And so I was about to cook anyway, so I was like, let's just film it. But welcome to, what is today, day 13 of Vlogmas. I'm really excited about today's video because we're going to be making homemade chicken noodle soup. And this is one of those creamy chicken noodle soups, like the super fulfilling kind. And along with that, we're going to be making Southwestern or Mexican style cornbread. So good. It's like filled with jalapenos and peppers and... It's all home homemade and it's so good. So I think you guys will really like this recipe. It'll be down in the description box on how to make it. So easy, has healthy vegetables and stuff. Perfect for this time of year. Perfect for any time of year. And yeah, we're gonna be kind of doing this together because I've never actually made it alone. My mom makes this and it's so good that I wanted to make it for you guys and with you guys and I wanted to make it for myself this weekend or for this whole entire week. This is like a meal prepping edition, so it's gonna be quite a lot. Um, but yeah, all of it will be linked down below. But if you wanna see how I make it, keep watching. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. But I am sorry, you are kind of far away. I'll move you in closer in a minute. But I'm trying to just give you like an overview of my kitchen, but so I can like introduce like how we're gonna start out this video and all the ingredients. But the very first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the soup. And your basic ingredients are, you know, carrot, celery, and onion. Those are pretty much the basics in most chicken noodle soups. But you're gonna need two like medium to large size onions. I got yellow onions. And then um, I got a pack of carrots. And I'm gonna be cutting up five of those carrots. So, cause they're kind of skinny. My mom said to do four, but we're gonna do five since they are smaller. And then I got a whole entire bag of celery and you wanna leave the leaves on because that's what gives it flavor according to my mom. And then we also have boneless skinless chicken breast. You can do like two to three, depending on how many people. I'm gonna do three because I'm meal prepping for the week. It's Sunday, I'm gonna be eating it tonight through Thursday and I want enough. I'm gonna chop up this onion or both of these onions and we're gonna do it kind of finely because the first thing, the first step in this is to like saute all the vegetables and I'll kind of read out what she said. So you add two tablespoons of flour to a large uh, pot, which I don't know if you can see the pot behind me. I got it from Target earlier today because I didn't have one that's deep enough. You will need a pretty deep pot because this does make a whole bunch, I will say, of chicken noodle soup, this recipe. Um, so you'll add two tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of butter. And so you'll add the two onions, the four to five carrots, and then the whole pack of celery after you've chopped them all up. And you'll saute them, she says, for about 19 minutes. <laughs> it's very specific. So about 19 minutes until they're golden brown um, and so really cooked down and I'm so excited. Just chopping this onion up. I'm not like the world's best chopper by any means but I'm doing what I can and after I do it I'll show y'all like a close overview of what I'm doing. This is something that I feel like even if you have somebody in your family that may not like chicken noodle soup they'll probably like this recipe because it's so good. Sometimes you'll get those like watery chicken noodle soups, but this is more of like a um, like a creamy texture of chicken noodle soup. So since you guys were so far, I wanted to give you more of a closer look. That's where I kind of started breaking off the ends of the celery, but we're just gonna break off the white ends because those are also dirty. Make sure to also wash all of your vegetables before you use it. The celery was literally covered in dirt in the grocery store, but this is my attempt of finally chopping up an onion. I will go back and make sure all those little pieces are chopped up, and so I'm just gonna finish doing that and then chop up the carrot. So like I said, like quarter size, and then I'm gonna go back and like, do this in fours. I know there's a greater way to do this, but we are, this is like a beginner's guide to cooking. So that's about like how big I want it. And then celery, you know, about like that. So that was just like a little piece that I did. Okay guys, update, like a couple minutes later, I went ahead and chopped everything up. No, it is not perfect, but it really honestly doesn't matter. It's 
it's gonna taste the same so that's all of the celery which is like the majority of it and then onions and then also carrots so the carrots some of them were super tiny so I just left them and then celery for the bigger stalks I like sliced it down the middle then chopped and then kind of left the leaves I'm gonna probably break those up a little bit more um, and now we are going to put it into our big pot in this pot I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on let's see we're gonna turn it on like three to four and then we're gonna put about two tablespoons of oil I'm using vegetable oil I need my hand sorry so it is about two tablespoons of vegetable oil I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it I feel like that's pretty good everything I just dumped in there was easier than I thought um, and so I'm just gonna toss around with that oil the vegetable oil that's on it and we're just gonna let this saute for about I'm gonna give it like 10 minutes honestly because that's a lot and then after it sautés we're going to add two tablespoons of um what is it yeah self-rising flour okay y'all so it's been about eight minutes or so and I've let it kind of cook down you can see how steamy it is it smells so stinking good in here it smells so healthy also have that candle going but I might just blow that candle out because this is just incredible and so now that it's kind of cooked down a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and add the flour because like it, my mom said about 19 minutes um, so about I would say between like 15 and 20 minutes but just keep like kind of sauteing it around um, we're gonna add two tablespoons of self rising flour into here so that way it'll kind of make it a little bit more I don't know what it'll make it more I don't really know what I'm doing we're learning together kind of just cook around and then also while that's been cooking I went ahead and started chopping up my chicken breast so I've done two so far and I'm about to do the third and this is just chicken breast you know really simple and I'm just chopping it up pretty finely I'm gonna show you like bite-sized pieces if not like kind of smaller just like you know what you imagine to be in chicken noodle soup you can also boil it and then shred it but it will cook once you dump it in there you'll see it'll cook pretty quickly because it is again like smaller pieces so I'm gonna chop this up okay y'all so it's been almost 20 minutes and I did want to say I have been like constantly stirring it and so this is pretty much as golden brown as we're gonna wait on and we're gonna go ahead and add this whole thing of chicken broth this is 32 ounces of chicken broth okay so I just opened it up so we're just gonna pour this in there and then my mom has informed me after you pour this in there you want to fill it between halfway and three-fourths full of water for whatever this doesn't fill so this looks like it's going to do about a fourth and so whatever's left we're going to go ahead and add water so I'm just going to use it from my Brita because I want it to be oh let me get my spoon it's about to, about to lose my spoon um, okay spoon stop that we're gonna just pour this water we're gonna need more water ah yikes okay so I feel like we're in a good place I feel like that's a little bit over halfway almost three-fourths and we're gonna let this come to a boil I'm gonna turn it all the way up so we can get this thing hot 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 so after this does come to a boil we're gonna add in our pasta this is the <laughs> is it far folly for, for fall I'm sorry I can't say words and then after we add that then we will add salt and pepper and then the add all the chicken and um, I'll, we'll, we'll continue from there so again while we're waiting on this we're gonna go ahead and start with our super simple super delicious cornbread um, this is Mexican style cornbread it's so spicy so good you don't have to make it as spicy we'll talk about that in a second but the first thing you're gonna need is a cup and a half of self rising cornmeal you can get it whether it's not or it's just plain cornmeal but if you do that then you're gonna need baking soda I mean baking powder and salt not baking soda baking powder and salt but to avoid that step we're just using self rising then you're also going to need um, two tablespoons of chopped green pepper and then two jalapeno peppers chopped these were the only ones they had in the store so you can also buy it in a can like already chopped so you can avoid you can do that with all of these vegetables but this is what this is what I got then it also this recipe does call for a, a half a cup of chopped green onion just to add more flavor I forgot the green onion but it's totally okay because if you think about it regular cornbread doesn't have it and so it's not gonna be the end of the world because we already have the spiciness coming from here 
Then you're also going to need, ooh, that was loud, um, but this cup of cream style corn, so any kind of cream corn will do. So about eight ounces of that. So this is like a mini can, or if you're doing a regular like 16 ounce can, just do half, duh. And then you're gonna need a cup of sour cream and two eggs. So Claire had an uh-oh stupid moment. I forgot to put in butter with the vegetable oil and the flour and the vegetables. I knew I was forgetting something. It calls for two tablespoons. And this is not part of the rules, but I'm just about to pop that in there. Y'all are probably thinking, what a weird weirdo but I do not want to forget the butter in here so that is totally not right and it's floating to the top but again we're learning together so hopefully this will boil down and just add more flavor to everything we got going on because y'all you, you can't forget the butter in a recipe so we're just gonna everybody makes mistakes okay everybody makes mistakes my mom's gonna be like why 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 did you do that just had to let y'all know Okay, y'all, I just called my mom again. Another disclaimer, she said adding the butter to the top is fine, but I made an uh-oh. So the vegetable oil, I read the recipes wrong that she sent me. The vegetable oil is for the cornbread. I thought it was to mix in with the vegetables and the flour, which she said is a fine thing to do. I definitely didn't have to add the butter later. But, um, so just no, no vegetable oil goes in this. It was supposed to be butter and flour to saute with the vegetables, but she said now it's just probably going to have a little bit more flavor to it, but still not coming to a boil, and we do have it on high, so we got, but it is like a ton of liquid, so we just got to wait it out. Um, I just wanted to give y'all that disclaimer. I'm really sorry if you were making this along with me, but yeah, the recipe's down below. Now that all the disclaimers of my stupidity are over, I'm going to show you how simple this is to make. So this is a cup and a half of the cornmeal, and this is a little combination. So... I have the recipe over here, but in here we have eight ounces of sour cream, eight ounces of canned cream corn, and then two eggs. So what I did, I just mixed these together in this little bowl, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to here. So super clumpy McClumpy, and I'll scoop all the rest of that out when I have my other hand. This is the only reason I need a boyfriend, is to film me. And then this is half a cup of vegetable oil. Any kind of cooking oil will be okay, so we're gonna dump that in there. Blend this all together, and so I'll probably get a bigger spoon to mix it. I could like stand up my camera, but I feel like you can't see as well when I'm farther off. I'm just gonna be totally real with y'all. Claire read the recipe wrong again, but this time it's a little bit more okay. So you were actually supposed to add the pepper and jalapeno in with the cornmeal, and then add the mixture. <coughs> Ooh, I think a jalapeno went down my throat. Add the mixture of the um, sour cream and corn and eggs, but I read it wrong, and so it's okay. We're just gonna be adding this in in our next step. I need my hand, sorry. Okay, so I just dumped the jalapenos and peppers in there. You probably weren't supposed to get the seeds, but there were a few of the jalapeno seeds. I'll be honest, I'm so scared. My skin is gonna catch on fire later because I know people that have had severe breakouts after topping up jalapenos, and I know with my luck, I'll be one of those people. I probably could have ch chopped it up even finer, but honestly, it, it's all good. And then I sprayed these little muffin pans with some um, vegetable nonstick spray, that stuff right there, and it smells really good. And so now that this is all pretty mixed together, um, all I'm going to do is take half of it and fill it in the bottom of these muffin pans. So just each one, like, I'm going to do, like, one scoop to start out with. And then after I do the one scoop, I may go back and do another. Okay, I wasn't recording, but I thought I was. So I dumped in that pasta, and then I went ahead and added pepper. And then I'm adding pepper to the chicken, too, which I probably should have done already. And then I thought I was out of salt. We were about to have a panic attack. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of that on there. And then dump some salt in here so that way it'll... <laughs> go with the pasta so we're just gonna stir that up and wait until that pasta is all the way cooked through which shouldn't take too too long so now that we have our pans halfway filled we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of cream cheese um, cream cheese little bit of sharp cheese sharp cheddar shredded cheese into each one however much you feel is appropriate again like I was trying to cut out dairy I still am this is more of a like a something I just really wanted to show y'all how to make and then I was like well if I really want to show them I guess I'll go ahead and do it now that that's all covered in cheese we're gonna go back with this second layer 
of cornbread and top it off. I'm scared I might have added too much to the bottom. So we're gonna do like one scoop to the top and then go back with what we have left just to make sure that we have enough of everything. Okay, so now that these are done and all mixed in, I'm going to put them in the oven. You can see the water is really boiling with this soup. So I'm just gonna plop these on in here. It's really hot, it's at 450. Okay, so it's been a couple more minutes and it's not all the way boiled, but you're supposed to actually go ahead and add in the chicken right after the pasta so it can go ahead and start cooking. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes and then after it cooks, um, which it's really only been like a couple minutes with the pasta, so we're gonna let the cook and chick, cook and chick, chicken <laughs> cook i get eyes all today today's the disaster we're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes and then come back and check on it okay y'all so it hasn't even been 10 minutes and the cook it cooking i'm doing it again the chicken is pretty much cooked through and the pasta looks like it's almost there the chicken like caught up with the pasta so Yay to that. And we're gonna let that sit a couple more minutes, but the muffins are already doing so good. They look like they're like getting, you know, pretty close to done and they haven't even been in there like 10 minutes. But now that this is like pretty much, I would say, you know, done, um, we're gonna go ahead and add the rest to it. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn this down to about one. So we're gonna bring it out from being in a boil and y'all, it smells so good in here. I'm gonna add two of these cubes of chicken bouillon or two tablespoons. I know tablespoons is a little bit more, but my mom said two of these cubes would be fine. I'll put it down below. It is two tablespoons or just two cubes. Of ah, why did I do that? Why am I so dumb? Um, so we're just gonna put two of these. I have no clue what these even, dang it, that hurt. So now we're gonna put in about half of this heavy whipping cream. So about half a quart or whatever that is. So I'm just gonna pour this into here. This is what makes it super creamy, so I feel that feels like about half. Yeah, that's about half, a little bit more. Um, and then we have the chicken bouillon in there and then one can of cream of chicken soup. So I'm just gonna dump that in here. Probably should use a spoon. Okay, so sorry I had to put the camera down because I couldn't scoop it. So a can of that, and then she also said, oh my goodness, I'm making a mess, about three tablespoons of parsley. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it, so that, feel, that feels right. That just felt right. And then she says now to cook on low for about 30 minutes until all the pasta is done, and it's gonna be so nice and creamy after it's all cooked through. Oh my goodness, it smells so delightful in here. So we're gonna let that just cook for about 30 minutes. Okay y'all, so I just took them out. I don't think they're all the way done. I think they're kind of mushy a little bit in the middle, but I was digging in that one and I feel like it, they need a little bit more cheese on them. So I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle a little bit on the top and then clean the edges off just so we have, they're like cheesy when you bite into them. You feel me? Put these in for like two more minutes. Honestly, I could have done without the cheese on the top. I thought it would honestly also make it look cuter. Didn't do it. Um, I left these two out. I'm gonna take a little picture. Y'all, those jalapenos are like breaking out my hands. They're like on fire right now. Not gonna lie. We're gonna do a little taste test in a second, but then also you can top it with butter. You feel me? And this has been in here for like how many minutes now? Probably like another 10 minutes. So I'll probably leave it in here for like 20 more minutes. Let it get all nice and thick. Okay y'all, so I took a shower. It's now 7.30. So it's been like another 15 minutes or so. Let me see where to sit this. I'm sorry, this, whoa. This video has just been like a actual disaster. I don't know what to do with myself. Um, so you can see it's a lot more creamy than it was before. I could totally go ahead and dive into it now. I think I'm gonna let it sit for like another five minutes, but it is totally done. So it has been like about 30 minutes, but the longer you let it simmer, you know, the more flavor is gonna just like come all together and all that. I did eat one of these and y'all, they are so stinking good. I'm not even trying to be dramatic. Let me like cut one in half for y'all so you can see like how they look in the middle. So they're not all the way like fully overcooked. It's like 
just right let me close up definitely could have put more cheese in the middle i was right about that um it's just kind of like some sprinkles but i like the jalapeno part because i'm not even a huge cheese person but definitely if you are do like double the cheese i feel like if you make it in a pan it's easier to eyeball but this cooked so quickly i do gotta admit so so quickly all right guys well that was it for today's video that was the final product this is going to be my meal for the entire week i'm super excited that i made this even though it did take a while should not take the average person as long as it took me but i hope you enjoy it recipes in the description box make sure to subscribe and enter well actually i don't have a giveaway today enter all my other 12 days of giveaways so if you go back to my other videos you'll see but anyway that was it for today's video thank you for joining me bye